Hello everyone and welcome to Jody Does Things, the show where I do things. Today, we're reviewing a paper shredder. Jojo does things, Jojo does things, watch me as I do things, Jojo does things. Hey, watch me! So as I said, today we're reviewing a paper shredder. Specifically, this one, this paper shredder, the Office Max OM96142. Uh, we've had, my, my mom and dad own this paper shredder. And they've had it for a long time, so I'm going to review it today. First of all, let's read its design. A gray box, basically, with one wire and some stuff on the top. Let's go over that. We have the off switch, the rev button so you can rev up, and auto, which allows you to cut things. You can, there's the paper shredder thing, right? There's a card shredder here for inserting cards, because... What if your bank denies your credit card? You gotta shred it. Uh, this says not maximum of seven sheets of paper. If you want to do more than that, um, get a stronger one. This one is just explaining because it's disabled hands. That means uh, if you are disabled and don't have hands, don't use this. Or don't use it as a fingernail cutter. If you want to do that, use scissors, obviously. Next is the paper clip. Don't sh Shred paper clips, obviously, and don't shred spray cans because they don't fit in here, you idiot. Alright, now let's get on with the actual important part, the shredding. Alrighty, so I'm here on the floor with old Shred Mr. Shreddy over here, and we are going to plug it in and test it. Right, luckily there's a plug right here. Uh, ignore the outside, there's an apocalypse out there. Um, make sure that's plugged in. And uh, let's boot her up. Rev it a little bit. Just give it a bit to rev up. You see, gather its feelings and all that to get ready to shred to pieces. Might take a while. Alright, so I have a few things I am here to shred today. We'll just do that. Leave it like that. I have a few things here I'm ready to shred. Um, some very important things, like my social security number. I mean, I've already memorized that. Definitely, obviously. So I, I need to shred this. Uh, a credit card from a bank I don't associate with in Russia. You know, don't want access to it. And, uh, you know, that one too. That one's not important. Uh, so let's get shredded. Um, I'm gonna put that one in there. Oh, shit. Especially if you fold it. So. Oh, there we go. I've got booted up. Yeah, it's paper. Let's give it a shred. Goodbye, social security number. Won't be needing you. Next, credit card. Go ahead and hold it up. Goodbye, Russian bank credit card. Now now, now the Russians won't be after me anymore. And this one, you know. Maybe I hold it too much. Don't want to suppress it too much. And there we go. Let's take a look of the contents inside. And wow, I gotta say, wow, it shredded that paper good. You can't even tell there's a bunch of things that were paper in there. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. But now, let's get on to the real test. Now, one thing I've always wondered is, what's it feel like to put your foot in a paper shredder? Which is the real test we're doing. I'm going to be putting that thing inside this. And I'm going to see how it feels. Got a foot here. Just like that. Got it. Yeah, it feels like my foot's touching shredded paper. Uh, would I recommend this to people? Uh, no, because you could potentially get paper cuts, which are bad. Don't want that. And uh, yeah, feels good. Overall, uh, it has decent. 
uh, oh, or mediocre uh, color design. Some good warning labels. You don't want kids getting into this. And good shredding skills, although it could improve in that department. And finally, it feels alright to put your foot in. And overall, I rate this paper shredder a solid 9 out of 12. A pretty good paper shredder to start off with if you're new to the shredding game. Well, that's all for today. Make sure to come back next time where I'll be doing something, for sure. See ya.